Hello and welcome back to the Entertainment Vortex on our new episode of Pop Culture News, where we cover everything Funko Pop related. So we're just going to jump right into it because we've been filming the last hour and a half for <laughs> Star Wars content. So we want to make sure you guys get all the Funko Pop news. So first up is going to be a reminder because I'm super excited about this one. So I assume you're all excited about this one. Right now at Walmart, the Kingsman The Golden Circle bonus pack is available. It's the Blu-ray DVD Digital Edition which with a really cool pop keychain of Eggsy. Super awesome. Like, how can you not pick this up? I'm not sure what happened. It doesn't look like they're doing the 4K version like they were before. So that's kind of disappointing because that's what I wanted to get. But how can you not have this keychain if you're a Kingsman fan? It's amazing. So I just wanted to give you a reminder. And if you really want to see more things like this happen, like the upcoming one for Spider-Man Homecoming, yeah. go ahead and buy these. You know, if yeah, you support if, them. Yeah, if you if you want to see cool connections between Funko Pops and the actual pop culture that they're uh, based off of, buy it. That you yeah. know, vote with your dollar. That's the best thing that you can do in this case. Absolutely, I love I love these team ups. They're amazing. Both of those are awesome. So next up on the list, we have a uh, release that's coming to Walgreens as an exclusive, uh, Spider-Girl. That one's going to be coming out in January. The scope for this one is really cool. I'm not sure if I'll pick it up just because, I mean, I don't really have a whole lot of reason to be in a Walgreens. But <laughs> but if I happen to stumble across it, I might pick it up. It, it, it definitely looks really cool. It does look really cool. I've been heading into the Walgreens in the area over and over again trying to find those movie moments ones from Star Wars. Uh, so while I'm in there looking for those, if I happen to see it, I'll probably pick it up. It looks cool. So next up on our list is going to be two Harry Potter pops that are coming out. It is Ron Weasley and Ginny Weasley, and these come out January 2018. These look pretty cool. They're both on their, their Quidditch brooms. They've got their full outfits on. I like them. They're, they're really well sculpted. I'm not sure if I'll pick them up, but they, they do look really cool. I like that they're trying new things with them. I'm picking these up. <laughs> Guaranteed. Nice. Um, I love that... Uh, Ron has the helmet. Yeah. I love that they're just in those, you know, uh, those Gryffindor colors. I, I hope that they do more of these Quidditch ones on the brooms because uh, it, it kind of reminds me of, you know, the rides that they're doing for the Star Wars franchise. I, I want to see more Harry Potter pops. I love Harry Potter. I can't wait for these to come out and so I can pick them up. I'm ready for it. So the next one that's coming up on the screen right now, it's going to be a large photo. There's a lot of content here. Uh, it's going to be a pop series based around Minecraft. There are several exclusives. There's a chase. I personally enjoy Minecraft. I might end up picking up a couple of these. Um, I think that the survival mode is very highly underrated and I feel like it's kind of sparked this new like survival crafting genre of games that now are taking a little more of a realistic look. But this is kind of the place that it started and I, I feel like it's gone a lot of really cool places. I enjoy playing it um, and I think that some of the figures look really good, really nice. Yeah, I've been playing Minecraft back since it was in beta, and I love this game. I mean, it is a lot of fun, especially if you have a group of friends to play it with. And these figures are really well done. They really pop when it comes to... Ah, see what he did there? They really pop when it comes to the look of Minecraft, because Minecraft has a very distinct look, as we know. But it doesn't make it look bad. It doesn't make it look like they're under design, I think it really fits with this 8-bit look, this blocky look. There is one in this line that I have to pick up, and that's the Burning Skeleton one. That looks <laughs> awesome. I so want that. If I see some of the others, I'll probably grab them. I'm not going to run out to look for them, but that Burning Skeleton one is amazing. So next up on the list is a series that's based off the new video game coming out, Nino Kuni 2. Now this is a video game done by Studio Ghibli. The first one was really enjoyable. I didn't personally get to play it, but it's like playing an anime. I hear it's really, really cool. Uh, these come out the same time the Minecraft ones do, which is February of next year, so not too long to wait. I don't know if I'm gonna pick these up. I do think it's neat that it's the figure and then this little creature thing. I'm sure it goes into the story, but uh, it's like a two-pack almost. You get the, the one and then the small little buddy with it. Um, I think I'll, if I try to play the game and I enjoy it, maybe I'll pick them up, but at this point, not not too excited about it. How about you? Yeah, these games aren't really something that are on my radar as far as things that I'm going to pick up. There's so much content to be enjoyed out there, and I'm probably going to end up completely missing these ones. So, I mean, I'm not going to end up picking up the pops. I can definitely see that there's a fan base, and, you know, it's great to see that those fan bases are being represented when it comes to pops. But I said I'm going to move on to Greener Pastures from this one. All right, so next up on the list, we have another February release. This one is going to be a new release of Walking Dead Pops. Definitely want to avoid any spoilers from the recent season. I'm super not caught up on this show. Um, I didn't really look too in depth because I don't want to. I don't want to end up catching something from a pop that I <laughs> that I that I want to actually enjoy from the show. 
Uh, but from what I saw from the picture and what you're seeing right now, uh, the sculpts look really great. Um, Walking Dead is a is a great series to do pops from. There are so many iconic characters and so many different cool things you can do with them. You know, they have Daryl Dixon is a perfect example. He has, you know, different outfits for different seasons. You know, he kind of has that like biker chic look and then he kind of does the poncho thing for a while. Like he's just a character that works really well in that pop type showing. And I think that these are going to be really popular. A lot of people are going to pick them up. I'm going to avoid them until I see the new season, but definitely uh, they look great. So I'm going to say I am a giant Walking Dead fan, but I'm going to put a caveat on that. I am a giant Walking Dead comic fan. So because of that, I did not watch the television show. I gave it a try a couple times and couldn't do it. The characters have just changed too much for me. With that being said, I know that this is a huge phenomenon. And these are some excellent sculpts. They look really, really good. But with that being said, being that I'm not really into the television show, I'm into the comics. I kind of wish they did a line of the comic versions. I understand, keep doing the TV ones, but give me just a special line <laughs> of the comic versions, the different characters that we don't see. Uh, I would love to see that. Or even better, give me one of those moments lines where it's like Walking Dead moments from the comics. <laughs> oh, that would be amazing. I would be all for that. But I'm going to pass on these TV ones, but I know a lot of people that are going to be picking these up. So when it comes to our hauls for this week, which we always cover in these episodes, it's not going to be very big. And the reason for that is because this week we have been focusing on relaunching this channel. <laughs> and let me tell you, it has been a lot of work, but worth every second. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, definitely do because we have some huge surprises coming, plus a minimum of four videos a week, two of those being gaming videos. But this week I did get one as part of a subscription. I got uh, one of the Hellboy Pops you can see on your screen here. I believe it was the Queen of Blood. Uh, it wasn't one I ordered, it was one of those they send you a random one. It was cool I didn't have this one, so that's good. Add it with my uh, Chase Hellboy I got. Um, definitely a cool figure. Uh, but that's actually all I got this week. Did you pick up anything this week? I know we've been busy. <laughs> Uh, between the work, the relaunch, and holiday, I really haven't had a lot of time to look at pops. So, I mean, I've been keeping my eye on some things, but payday's coming up. So I'll probably end up picking up a couple of things, but I definitely have a little bit of a focus on trying to, you know, you know, buy gifts for family and that sort of a thing. So I didn't end up picking up anything this week, so next week is going to be better. Well, I'm curious to know, we had a bit of a week haul week, but how about you? Did you pick anything up this week? Let us know in the comment section below. So the winner of our contest last week where we were giving away a shirt directly from Funko headquarters is, and I'm gonna read it because it's a bit of a tricky one. It was a Super Seat, Super Deet, Na Ayutaya. I hope I got that right, I'm sorry if I didn't. Uh, but you did win, so I will be messaging you directly over YouTube to get information on where to mail that. Congratulations. Uh, be looking out for giveaways we'll be doing in the future, as that was a lot of fun, and I look forward to doing more. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, I definitely would, because we've got weekly movie reviews, weekly Funko Pop news videos, of course, plus gaming videos, minimum of four videos a week, and all kinds of surprises. I hope you'll follow us into the Vortex. We'll see you next time.